What we're doing here today with the uh, students from Warren Tech are to exposing them to some hands-on uh, experience with forensic work, particularly involving uh, fire investigations. One of the things that we want to bring out for these students is technology. So they're getting the investigative skills, but it's important for them to understand um, what tools are available to them. And in this case, we were fortunate enough to get laser technology to come out. We're going to go ahead and just start a new survey. So I'm going to hit the new survey button. It's going to ask me for a file name. So go ahead and type in Warren Tech. So a fundamental uh, requirement of any investigation is to draw a picture. You have to have a map of layout of all the evidence. Traditionally, we would take a pencil and a paper. If in the middle of the night, 20 degrees outside, you try and take a pen and draw on a piece of paper, it doesn't work. Uh, the environment we work in using the old paper and, and pencil method, a lot of times with the, with the dirt and the moisture and things like that, the notes become unrecognizable if, if uh, uh, they become contaminated or wet, things of that nature. The two things I like about the laser technology is its portability, uh, the simplicity of use, Laser technology has this ability to help pinpoint very accurately the location of the evidence, but not only accurately, but quickly. So by knowing the instrument height, we're going to then shoot a reference point, and then that's going to give me my bearing of my control point here. In fire scenes, we don't have the luxury of returning back to measure a room or anything like this. The technology that's afforded us now with, with the equipment like laser technologies allows us to capture those data points quicker easier and then be able to retrieve them at a later date, possibly even sometimes years later, to get a particular measurement. Click and hold this, this actually then pulls up uh, the image of your evidence point. So ideally every photo you take is going to be geo-referenced to the location you're mapping. As long after uh, the crime scene has been cleaned up or the fire scene has been cleaned up and they've raised the building and built a new one, uh, the only thing that really stands as a testament to the quality of your work is the level of documentation and how well you documented the scene. 